y equals to 3x plus 5. This is a straight line with a gradient of 3 and a y-intercept of 5. Okay, um, what does the gradient tell us about a line? Because if I give you y equals to minus 3x plus 5, there should be a difference between this and this based on the fact that they've got one has got a positive gradient and this has got a negative gradient. What do you think the gradient tells us? It tells us if y is directly proportional to x or if y is inversely proportional to x. So in other words, while x is increasing, what happens to y? Is our y increasing as x is increasing or is our y decreasing while x is increasing? So for instance, the first graph passes through 5 and has got a gradient of 3 will look like this. The second graph also passes through 5 but a gradient of minus 3 so it's going to look this way because now as x is increasing our y value seems to be falling down. Um, so yeah that's exactly what the gradient tells us. Also the gradient tells us another thing. The gradient tells us um, the angle between this line and the horizontal. So for instance, you can see this line here makes an angle, let's just say an angle theta to this horizontal. And this line also makes an angle theta to this horizontal. Now the angle that the gradient, that this line, no, that the line makes with the horizontal can be observed or found out if you know what the gradient is. And that's because the gradient is actually calculated from a change in y value over a change in x value. I mean, if you know two points, two points x1, y1, and x2, y2, then you can easily get your gradient by looking at the difference between the y values and the x values. Now, if you look at this critically, it looks like this. So if I knew what the point here is, x2, y2, and I knew what the point here is, x1, y1, then it means that the difference between the x1 and x2 value, which is this, is this, and the difference between the y2 value and the y1 value, which is this height, is this. Now, what does that look like to you in trigonometry? which we will talk about later on anyway, is the same thing as tan. So this is tan theta, okay? So if you know the gradient, then you, you can always find theta. And if you know what the angle is, you can always find the gradient. Well, we'll come to that. I'm, I'm very sure we're going to come across that when we start looking at past questions, because I want to treat up all these topics because they actually have a lot to do in common. Like you've got trigonometry falling inside geometry and you've got, you've got that also in algebra and all of that, graphs and all of that. So we'll come to that fully in a bit. Another thing that the gradient tells us is that the gradient lets us know when two lines are parallel and when two lines are perpendicular. You don't, do you understand what I mean? Okay, for instance, you've got the line y equals to 3x plus 4 and you've got the line y equals to 3x minus 2. If you look at these two graphs, they've got the same gradient 3 and 3. And what do you think will be the, the, the line for them? If this is the intercept for the first one, 4, and this is the intercept of the second one, minus 2, this first line is going to go with a gradient of 3, maybe this way. And this second line is also going to have the same gradient. And what does the same gradient mean? The same gradient means that the same angle with the horizontal. So it's going to be exactly parallel to this one. Because they have the same gradient, they will never meet. So when you've got the same gradient, they will never meet. These two lines will never meet. So what I mean is that the gradient of a parallel line is the same as the gradient of the other line. Okay, they always have the same gradient. So if I don't want to 